Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x to the power 4 plus 2 minus x whole to the power 4 is equal to 34. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start x to the power 4 plus this 2 can be written as this 2 can be written as 1 plus 1. So, we write this 2 as 1 plus 1 minus x whole to the power 4 is equal to 34. Now, we suppose that this 1 minus x is equal to m. Let m is equal to 1 minus x. Now, if we move this uh, negative x to the left hand side and this m to the right hand side, then this implies that uh, x is equal to 1 minus m. Now, we replace uh, this x with this 1 minus m, we replace this uh, 1 minus x with this m. Then this equation will become 1 minus m whole to the power 4 plus 1 plus m whole to the power 4 is equal to 34. Now, this uh, 1 minus m whole to the power 4 can be written as uh, 1 minus m whole squared whole to the power 2 plus this uh, 1 plus m whole to the power 4 can be written as 1 plus m whole squared whole to the power 2 is equal to 34. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus uh, b squared minus 2 a b. This uh, 1 minus m whole squared will become 1 plus m squared minus 2 times m whole to the power this power 2 plus by using this uh, algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus uh, b squared plus uh, 2ab. This uh, 1 plus m whole squared will become 1 plus m squared plus 2 times m whole to the power this power 2 is equal to 34. Now, here we have 1 plus m squared and here we have 1 plus m squared and here we have uh, 2m and here we have 2m. So, we suppose that let a is equal to 1 plus uh, m squared and b is equal to 2 times m. We substitute a and b in this equation then this equation will become a minus b whole squared plus uh, a plus b whole squared is equal to 34. Now, this uh, a minus b whole squared is equal to this expression a squared plus uh, b squared minus 2 a b plus this uh, a plus b whole squared is equal to this expression a squared plus uh, b squared plus uh, 2 a b is equal to 34. Now, this uh, negative 2 a b will be cancelled out with this positive 2 a b and this uh, 1 a squared plus uh, this 1 a squared will become 2 a squared plus uh, this 1 b squared plus uh, this 1 b squared will become 2 b squared is equal to 34. 
and from here we can factor out 2 2 as common factor and in bracket left a squared plus b squared is equal to 34 now from here we divide both sides of this equation by 2 so this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and uh, at left hand side we are left with a squared plus b squared is equal to 34 divided by 2 17 now recall that recall that a is equal to 1 plus m squared and b is equal to 2 times m recall that a is equal to 1 plus m squared and b is equal to 2 times m so we replace this a with this 1 plus m squared and we replace this b with this 2m then this equation will become 1 plus m squared whole to the power this power 2 plus 2 times m whole to the power this power 2 is equal to 17 now this uh, 1 plus m squared uh, whole squared is equal to 1 plus uh, 2 times m squared plus m to the power 4 plus uh, this uh, 2m whole squared is uh, 4m squared is equal to 17 now we write this uh, m to the power 4 first m to the power 4 this uh, 2m squared plus uh, 4m squared will become plus 6m squared plus uh, this 1 squared is 1 we will move this uh, 17 to the left hand side it become negative 17 is equal to 0 now this m to the power 4 can be written as uh, m squared whole squared plus 6m uh, squared plus 1 minus 17 is negative 16 is equal to 0 now here we have m squared and here we have m squared so we suppose that let m squared is equal to t and we substitute t in this equation then this equation will become t squared plus 6 times t minus 16 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation and is factorable we write this uh, t squared t squared and we split this uh, plus uh, 6 times t as uh, negative 2 times t plus 8 times t minus 16 is equal to 0 now from these two terms we can factor out t and in bracket left t minus 2 and from these two terms we can factor out plus 8 in bracket left t minus 2 is equal to 0 now as you can see this expression t minus 2 this expression t minus 2 is a common factor so we factor out this t minus 2 and uh, in bracket left uh, this uh, t and this plus 8 in bracket left uh, t plus 8 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression t minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression t plus 8 is equal to 0 from this equation t is equal to 2 and from this equation t is equal to negative 8 now recall that recall that m squared is equal to t recall that m squared is equal to t so when t is equal to 2 then this equation will become m squared is equal to and if we take a square root of both sides then this implies that 
m is equal to plus or minus square root of 2 and when t is equal to negative 8 then this equation will become m squared is equal to negative 8 and if we take a square root of both sides then this implies that m is equal to plus or minus square root of negative 8 m is equal to plus or minus square root of this uh, negative 8 can be written as uh, 4 times 2 times negative 1 and m is equal to plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 2 and this uh, square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So, we replace this uh, square root of negative 1 with i. So, we have value of m plus or minus square root of 2 and value of m plus or minus 2 times square root of 2 i. Now, to find the values of x, recall that we have supposed, we have supposed that x is equal to 1 minus m. we have supposed that x is equal to 1 minus n. So, when m is equal to plus minus square root of 2, then this equation will become x is equal to 1 minus plus or minus square root of 2. So, from here we get uh, two values of x, x 1 is equal to 1 plus uh, root 2 and x2 is equal to 1 minus root 2. And when value of m is plus minus 2 times root 2i, then this equation will become x is equal to 1 minus plus or minus 2 times root 2i. And from here, we get other two values of x. x3 is equal to 1 plus 2 times root 2 i and x 4 is equal to 1 minus 2 times root 2 i. So, these are the four solutions of this equation.